Hi guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel, my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, 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 welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, back, back. <laughs> so today I'm doing a review on the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Witless Liquid Foundation up to 24 hours wear. And I also created an eye look using the ColourPop Orange Glad palette. So if you want to see my review and see how I did this eye look. Okay, so let's hop into the review of the new Stay Naked Witless Liquid Foundation up to 24 hours wear. This is what it looks like in the packaging. Um, first of all, if you're hearing any noises, it's my fan that's blowing the hell out of me. And I'm very close to the highway and I'm filming in natural lighting today. Again, I like the way it looks, so I'm up early to get this video done. And I am doing the wear test, so I'm going to work and everything. So I'll be having wearing it for like a couple of hours and stuff like that. So perfect. The sacrifices the things you have to do to get these videos out okay just saying so i had to do this review asap because i bought this foundation like two weeks ago um i did the fenty one last week if you didn't check that out look at it the review i will link it in the i cards and the description box so you can check it out the fenty hydrating primer and this foundation has been on my vanity because I know I have to review it and he was just looking at me and calling my name and tempting me and I'm like, you know what, before I break and use this foundation before I actually do the review, let me just do this review and get it out. So I'm up early to get this foundation out because I really, really want to use this foundation, you guys, you don't understand. Also, I bought the Colourpop Orange Glad palette about a month now too to do a, um, a look with it and I just I didn't come across I didn't want to use it until I actually did the look so we're including that in this video as well so this foundation so I have my shade in 71 NN 71 for dark as a shade intensity NN as in neutral master tone and neutral undertones I'm not usually neutral but I tried all the foundation around the range that would match me and they were either too red or too gray or something so this one was perfect for me I feel like the packaging is really slick it's very very lightweight like it feels like there is nothing in my hand it's your standard one fluid ounce foundation it comes with a pump that's a plus 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 all foundations need to come with a pump or some way to make it come off easy I hate foundations that you have to pour like my urban like my um what's, what's this one the um damn I'm having a senior moment <laughs> Estee Lauder double wear um, foundation I hate the packaging like the you know you have to buy a pump separate like who has time for all that so the packaging is very silly and in my opinion it looks kind of luxe I like the gold cap and everything like that okay so I am on Sephora website right now to tell you what this foundation claims and it comes in 50 shades it is $39 that's like this is reasonable $39 is reasonable for a foundation not like that Pat McGrath $68 foundation like okay I did not see that um, so what it is it's a vegan buildable medium coverage liquid foundation with real skin matte finish that lasts up to 24 hours no I'm not gonna be wearing this foundation for 24 hours but I do feel like sometimes because of my job I need my foundation to last up to 10 hours sometimes so we'll see the coverage is medium the finish is matte obviously it's a liquid foundation the skin type it says it's for normal dry combination and oily so basically all skin types can use this and this product is vegan and cruelty free okay available in 50 shades designed with nine shade intensities three master tones and seven undertones it says it's a waterproof long wear foundation that feels like a second skin thanks to its breathable formula it feels better and looks better with a stay true color which minimizes which minimizes the appearance of pores so i guess it means it doesn't oxidize and it um it makes your pores look smaller so we'll put this claims to the test guys i'm back 10 hours later because this lighting this natural lighting was playing me so it was like bitch this isn't happening today so i had to actually go and set my lights up and i did prime my face um off camera i did use my sunscreen i did use my sunscreen make sure you're always using your sunscreen i like the nivea one this this one this is my favorite sunscreen it doesn't leave a white cast on your face it's like water it does dissolve so i love it so i did prime in my fenty soft matte primer went over that in my milk hydrated primer and i did um apply some of the milani eyeshadow primer in the areas where i tend to crease and my lids 
I did just do my two videos ago my current favorite beauty products I will also link that in the iCards the end screen the description box so check that out so that's basically the products I will be using to complete my face so if you haven't checked that video out check it out now all right okay time for the foundation so I'm going to apply it with a flat foundation brush my favorite foundation brush is busted and because i'm not like a brush girl i didn't repurchase it but i would do that so i can use it for reviews like this where i can actually apply the foundation using two different application methods so i pumped one pump and i'm gonna apply it with my flat foundation brush oh i also forgot to mention that i did go in with my elf um concealer and my nars soft matte concealer to color any discoloration on my skin before that's the usual way i usually do my um, what I do before I actually go into my foundation. So I'm just pressing this in with the um, the brush. I feel like doing this is just going to give me a little more coverage because brushes do tend to give you more coverage. And I'm going to go in and just um, blend that in with a sponge. Damn, I don't even feel like I need to go in with the sponge. The brush just applied it nice. Um, damn, it's very light very very light very smooth and it gave me a lot of coverage like I like applying my foundation on the side for these reviews where I have the most discoloration which is the right side of my face and damn do you see this it looks so nice and it oh my freaking god it's like ooh. It looks so freaking smooth. I feel like I'm wearing nothing on my face. And the coverage is amazing. The color is really nice as well. <laughs> For a moment that I forgot I was recording, like I ooh, it is so light and it just blended into my skin. Like uh, you saw I applied it with a brush, and usually I would just apply it with the brush and go in with a sponge, but it like it blended itself. It's Wow. Okay. Okay, Urban Decay. I see you. I see you. Can anyone tell me the movie this came from? I see you. I see you. You flashlight cop. <laughs> All right. So let's do the other side. Let's let let let, let, let let's see what's, what we're working with Urban Decay. And that was like, I used one pump for both sides of my face. One pump covered half of my face. Bear in mind, I do have a small face, but, um, oh my God, I am loving the way this is looking on my skin. <laughs> the claim show itself feels right. It's light as air. It did make my skin look extremely smooth and the coverage is oh my god oh my god let me build it up a little bit I'm using one pump again I'm gonna apply it on both sides of my face just in the areas where I have that discoloration just to see how it feels I'm gonna apply a little more on my chin as well they say it's a medium coverage but I feel like it covered my, my spots and stuff so well and my skin looks like my skin the the, the 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 matte is like just a real light matte finish like oh my god I am so impressed my skin looks like velvet that's the way I can describe it it's like filled in and still soft it's it's a bit tacky I feel like you can get away without setting this foundation um, if you're more of a drier skin type or even and my skin type combination I feel like you can get away without actually using too much powders or no powders at all especially as the cooler months are coming up like mm. all right so I'm gonna leave you here with this I'm liking it so far I'm a complete uh, my face and come back with the eye look and I did mention the products I'm gonna be using are in my current favorite uh, makeup products uh, video that I did so check it out so I'll be right back all right so I am um, completing my face but I'm about to do the eyes and I thought I'll pop up here and say 
the products layered lovely over um, the foundation the bronze my bronze and my Fenty bronze I went on so smooth I didn't use a lot of powders to set it but I set it in place my face looks so so freaking flawless right now I don't know if you guys can see this shit so so smooth and so flawless so I am gonna do and I look with this but I'm gonna do it voice over just to save time because like I said I'm getting ready for work as well so I'm just gonna voice this over and complete um, the rest of my face so I'll see you guys okay so I'm starting with the shade Crimsicle on a Morphe M433 brush <clears throat> excuse me I'm just applying this in my crease as my transition shade and I'm blending windshield wipe emotions you all know the drill back and forth and small circular motions to diffuse the color then I'm taking the shade Mimosa Mami on the same brush but I'm applying it lower in my crease like sort of directly in my crease a little bit on my lid and I'm doing the same motion this is just gonna deepen up the creamsicle shade even more so I have more definition And I always like looking forward because I want to make sure um, when my eyes are open, you can see the colors because I have a slightly hooded eye. Here I'm just taking back the color Crimsicle on a Morphe M441 brush now. And I'm just going to mesh the colors together so that there are no marks of demarcation. <clears throat> I'm taking the color Yeah, Pill Me <laughs> on this um shader brush and i'm just packing it on the outer corners of my eyes just to add more definition and depth i love this palette so much the colors are blending so nice you don't have to work too hard with it i'm also applying it um to my bottom lashes as well the shadows are so amazing i think this is my best palette so far from ColourPop with the monochromatic palettes that they've been doing i love it so much I'm taking Squeeze Me and Tangerine Dreams on a synthetic brush and I'm applying that on my lid to meet the outer corner color. I'm going like, I'm going right um, underneath my crease, like I'm creating slightly a cut crease, but not really a cut crease. And then I'm going back with that brush with nothing on it to just mesh the colors together so that it's not too defined because I'm going to work this day and I just want to show you a way to use the palette easy, make it um, a wearable daytime look. I'm taking the color Zested and I'm just um, using it as a brow bone highlight. It's a matte color, but it's going to help to diffuse the transition colors even nicer and just create a nice softer gradient for the daytime. I'm also using this color on my inner corners with a pencil brush. Then I'm gonna take this black liner, it's from NYX, the Jumbo Pencils, and I'm gonna line my waterline with that. Taking the color Yeah Pill Me again on this uh, liner brush, and I'm just gonna smudge the black in a little bit with the um, first color that I place down just to create more a gradient and so that it's not harsh and there we have it the eye look completed easy peasy I love 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 this palette I would use it in another tutorial it's amazing it's my best the best by far in my opinion so I'm also going to take the color crimsicle I'm going to use that as a blush today Yes, you can use your shadows as a blushes. You can use them as whatever you feel like, baby. Okay, so I'm going to apply that over my contour. Then I'm setting my brows with my got to be gel. Y'all know the drill. I love that. Just kiss my brows in place all day. Then I'm going to set that down with my Morphe setting spray. This spray. Mm, 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 mm. That's all I can say. Yep. I love it so much. It's a must-have in my routine. Then I'm going over with an NYX um, matte spray, mostly to the center of my face. And while it's drying, I'm going to just tap that over with my sponge to set it really well and press any peach fuzz or anything down on my skin. Then I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Powder and I'm applying that to the tops of my cheek, the bridge of my nose, my chin, you know, the usual areas. That's my entire face. You yeah, know yeah now <laughs> i love this um this powder it is like when you want a really soft glow that is what you gotta do 
Now I'm just priming my lashes with a primer. I've been doing that a lot lately. I just haven't been showing it much on camera because you don't want to be, you know, too much steps. So I love priming my bottom lashes. Then I'm going in with my um, BFF3 lip liner. These clips are moving faster than I'm talking. I went in with my Spritz Liquid Lip Satin Lip from Colourpop and I'm just topping that over with my Fenty, uh, Fenty Glow Universal Gloss Balm. Then I'm uh, doing my, my, my lashes because I'm not using any lashes today. So I'm first layering some mascara. I'm using uh, Maybelline Scent Lash Sensational. I'm going over my lashes first with that. Then I'm going over with my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This one is more clumpy and it gives me more volume and more clump and I like the way it looks. Then I'm using my Lash Accelerator by Remel to my bottom lashes. It's my favorite for my bottom lashes. If you haven't checked out my favorite uh, current favorite products, check it out. I will link it in the iCards. I list all the products that I'm loving at the moment. And that's the look. That's the complete look. That's my foundation review. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you in my next one very, very soon. Bye guys. All right guys, so I've completed my makeup. The foundation is like flawless i love the way it looks i will insert some clips of the wear test um because i am going to work as i mentioned and i also completed the eye look using the orange glad palette and even though this palette is orange i did want to do something more dramatic but there are other dramatic looks out there if you're interested in that i am more on the simpler side when it comes to eye looks anyway and um it's orange and i just wanted to show you a nice way that you can wear orange make it wearable for during the day as well so that's what i did here it's not like crazy or anything like that I've, i don't think i've ever won Yes, I have one orange on my eyes before. Anyway, so that's a completed look. Um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and this review. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Everything I use will be in the description box down below. So, so be sure to check that out. All my social media links and how to book me. I am a nail tech and a makeup artist out here in Brooklyn. Uh, follow me on all my Instagram platforms and see my work. Like, comment, share. Let me know if you'll actually try this foundation. If you have this palette, things like that, you know. It really helps and it helps me to grow here on YouTube. And I really appreciate it. And for all the new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing as well. I, I see you. I see you. I see you. So until then, let's continue to touch the world one face at a time. And I'll see you in my next video next week okay guys so this is my first and will be my only check-in it's like eight o'clock i've had this makeup on my face from 10 30 i think it was and i did not touch my face up not once today um let me show you what it looks like my t-zone is not very oily it's like i don't have any creasing do you see this the size of my face is so smooth, it's like velvet. Everything is just how I how I left it, <laughs> how, I, how I did it this morning. And I'm so impressed. This eye look is amazing. The shadows are there, they're not faded. It's like, it's amazing. So will I recommend this foundation? 100, 1000%, yes. If you're my skin type, as for my drier skin types, um, I don't know how well it's going to react to your skin. You probably would need to use a very good hydrating primer or something like that. And um, little powders over to just lock that foundation in place. But as for now, thumbs up. Bye guys.